I'm Humoto Kigi, Kigi with the nice pants in the streets, because I make the best pants in the game. And fundamentally, I'm a designer and I make clothes for not just myself, but I've made clothing for a couple of local streetwear brands. And recently, I am working on my own brand called Long Season. Hi, my name is Bubu Agisi. I'm the creative director of Miami Seagull and my brand is based on creating and exposing the ideologies that exist through ancient techniques of textile art and telling these stories through garment creation. I eat, sleep and live my work so I think everything sort of correlates and has to be cohesive. I think otherwise it would just be fake. <laughs> I should be living my religion. And I feel like my brand is my religion, so everything that I do coincides with everything that I'm putting out there also as a brand. So everything is sort of cohesive and correlates and makes sense at the end. I don't really know what I expected going in because I was very curious about how we were paired together. So I did try to read up on her and figure out some information about her brand and what she does. And it was interesting from that point, but also just in speaking to her, it kind of reaffirmed and kind of helped me understand why we were paired together. And she's fantastic. It was exciting to talk to somebody that has actually structured and done their work in kind of the way that I'm moving to do mine. For me, in, in terms of keeping it like a niche arts brand, I think the idea came from basically just studying. I went to school in Paris and obviously understanding that the idea from Paris is very different from the idea of the consumer in Africa or in Nigeria or in Ghana or in Kenya and it's trying to understand how the behaviors of these areas but also understanding what a, a niche brand is that takes time into creating detailed pieces that take me a lot of menial work and take a long time to create and understanding that um, these are pieces that need to be exclusive and you see that a lot of people don't even understand that thought process so the idea then comes into creating a niche brand and making pieces of products that uh, appeal to certain people that can afford this certain price in understanding that I'm paying this amount of money for a product that has taken a lot of time detailing, a lot of storytelling processes also to create and this cannot be a product that you know a mass number of people would be acquiring because it's, it should be valuable, it should be exclusive and that's there lies in the idea for our own work at I Miss Hugo. And if you fall into the story of what we're trying to tell, then you're falling into understanding that there's more to clothing as opposed to just overproduction or overconsumption. The fashion industry is the second most polluting industry after oil. So if we're not trying to be considerate about that as designers, then what do we expect the public to be expecting or to act. We're not trying to sell an idea to the public outside of it just being clothing. We need to also teach them uh, outside of the stories about histories, but also how to conserve and preserve energies and preserve stories and preserve techniques also and understanding that these are valuable ideas and valuable items and pieces of matter also. The idea behind my work also is decolonizing minds, which is essentially freeing minds of barriers, of borders, of anything essentially that creates this over definition for anyone in the entire exploring is the number one process that 
essentially has its input into my work. Essentially, it's, it's finding different ideas from different places and then bringing them together to create. The way Bulu does her work and how the idea around her being niche and what she does, I really appreciated that because I think for a long time I worked from a space of trying to kind of scale my ideas and make them especially my ideas around my personal projects, scale them and make them grand and like aim to like sell out and, and make a thousand units of a thing. Because I, I guess those are the type of conversations and the spaces that I've worked in and spoken to. But with her, she was just like, this is not an idea for everyone to get. And it's not even something that I want everyone to like be a part of because she makes art, which is that's what I believe in, that's what I do. And just the reaffirmation of that is still a quality idea was really important to me. And just how her work is so neatly woven into her life and just her spirituality and how she aligns everything is incredible to me. Clothing tell a really deep story of where we have been and um, where we are going to also. Essentially, a lot of people don't realize that because they forget that the body is the ultimate canvas. So what essentially would carry the stories through time? It's um, basically the body, I imagine. Just how she travels and creates her work uh, while she travels and meets the different people to kind of do the research of her work um, in terms of textiles and techniques of working, um, which is something that I really have been working on doing now. Just putting travel as one of the biggest things that I want in my work or in my practice. Just how she moves, how she travels um, to spaces and how she thinks about her work in terms of, you know, she's playing the long game uh, and she's creating things that will last a hundred years from now and that's what I want to do. I don't want to just make stuff to make stuff. I, I really care about the reach, the detail that goes into things. Taking time to work on a quality idea. So not just creating as fast as the internet can consume something. Telling stories is very important. I guess also kind of honoring yourself and listening to that, I guess, that alignment thing for me is just like, we're not machines, we're people that are making art and making important work. So honoring yourself and listening to yourself and knowing how your work kind of flows into your life and how these things need to coexist and help each other. Thing. just meeting Ubu, just to have a soundboard and someone like her is going to be a crazy experience. To have someone I'll connect with when I go to Lagos is going to be amazing. So far I have ideas of like projects that I'm working on and I think it's just going to get better knowing that I've met someone who is an extension of an entire other community. It's going to be very important and very lovely. Thank you.